just gotta get out Gonna get a little bit loud Cold drinks and friends all around Headed to the lake Hey guys, I'm gonna start something uh, new I'm gonna start something uh, called uh, Let's call it Sunday morning walk around Normally, I don't do much of anything on Sundays Sundays is kind of a lazy day to uh, just take in and do a little church when things go back to normal, I guess, and uh, just enjoy the day with your family. But uh, this morning's a beautiful day, and uh, I'm going to do something, and I'm going to call it a Sunday morning walk around. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight a car that's or a truck or van or whatever that's here uh, once a week I'm gonna pick and choose uh, which one I do and uh, today I'm just gonna start with the one that's closest to the house <laughs> and we're gonna start with this one now, this is a 69 Mercury Monte so this may be a 1969 Mercury, but she screams 70s. Uh, so you can almost see some high school kid cruising the parking lot in 1975 uh, with Van Halen blaring on the radio and uh, just cruising and being the coolest guy in the world. Look at some of the 70s greatness. We've got the long shackles. We've got the long shackles so you can get that cool, aggressive look. So you, when you go out uh, street racing with your buddies after school, you know, you look like a hot rod. The cool 1970s slot mags, um, you know, we'll overlook, uh, we'll overlook the fact that, you know, the, the 80s are screaming with the white leather tires, but I don't matter. Anyway. Then we come around here. So if you wanted to really put the the fear factor into your opponent, he you cruise up here, you flick him high beams on, and you got the red eyes shining at them too. Yeah, you let them know you were serious, that you were coming for their lunch money. You were the rock star in the high school parking lot in 1970 if you were driving this car. This car screamed I'm coming for you today we're going out to Paradise Road we're gonna line them up and I'm coming to get you yeah essentially no no let's actually talk about what's going on here I got parked over here at the edge um, this car has been for sale and um, actually I haven't done a very good job at advertising it for sale so let's take a quick look at this car 1969 Mercury Montego, um, but it is really, really a cool car. It's a car that you're not going to see too often. It's a car that uh, if you take it to the cruise ends on Saturday nights, you're not going to see another one. So let's get into what makes this car tick. So this car has a 302 in it. Uh, this is a factory air car, factory power steering car factory power brakes car uh, let's just say that if you could get an option in 1969 for a Mercury this car pretty much had it on here um, it's well stacked and uh, honestly I've never tried to hook up the air condition I could not tell you if it works uh, a lot of these old air conditions that people took the belts off of just because uh, they felt as though they were draining horsepower so they took the belt off. Now I will say that this carburetor leaks gas from the um, from the um, accelerator pump down there. It leaks, uh, so that will need to be addressed. The car also that little grommet that goes into the power steering pump right there is rotted, and that uh, vacuum line will come out from time to time. So it's going to definitely need some brake work. Um, and it's definitely going to need some carburetor work. But other than that, the car starts up and runs. Now, at the current moment, 
you can match the brake pedal and only one wheel i think it's this front wheel right here actually has any brakes on it so it's going to need brake work but the car the engine does start and run leaks fuel but it starts and run actually doesn't sound bad i actually have a video uh, somewhere of this car running and i'll try to put that in Let's go inside the cockpit here and take a look. Set my drink down. Um, I will note this that every one of these that I've had, the Trinos, the Comets, the uh, Montegos, whatever, the way they made these windows, there's no trim around them. It's just all glass, and there's one piece of trim right here. Now, if you're not careful, this one's in great shape. This one works perfect. But if you're not careful on these and this window comes off track a little bit, it'll overlap on this and it'll bust these windows because it'll push them out and these glasses will bust. I'll uh, get to that in just a second, but let's take a look. Okay, so you can see that the... Uh, Car is not a bad looking car on the inside. It's dirty. It needs to be cleaned up. Um, you know, we'll play some dash. The, the mirror is laying there. There is a crack in the windshield. But all in all, car has a cool interior in it. There is no headliner in the car. But I personally don't like a headliner anyway. Now, let's look at how good these doors shut. Just one just one little touch, and these doors shut. No need to slam them. The car is tight and right. There is some rust on the car. Around the gas door. That's a, that's a weird place. Uh, and there's a little bit right on the bottom lip of the door right there. Again, a little, a little weird, but... We'll see. Let's take a look at some other things on it. Passenger side door glass is broke. Remember how I told you that uh, that chrome trim, if it got off track a little bit, would overlap that? Yeah, she's gonna need a passenger side window. But other than that, this side over here is perfect as far as I can see. So the rear of these cars are uh, are very cool they got a very aggressive look to them uh, very distinctive and you can see the the uh the chrome on the rear bumper it's not perfect but it's good driver quality so overall this is a decent car so let's talk about the uh 69 mercury montego now i know for a fact that three years ago I think it was three years ago. Uh, this car was a daily driver. It was running, driving down the road. Things happen and cars get parked and that's the story of life. Um, I put fresh gas in this car and it started, sits here and runs, purrs like a kitten. Um, the car drives around. I've actually driven the car around the shop and around the yard here. Uh, the car, We'll run and drive again. It would not take a ton of effort to make this car a daily driver again um, if you were not trying to be overly um, aggressive with trying to make it look good and all that. If you was just looking for something to go to the gym, to go to the store, uh, cruise around town, uh, it would not take a lot. To my knowledge, what little bit I've looked at this car, to my knowledge, it needs a uh, carburetor rebuild. It needs a grommet put in the power brake booster. It needs the brakes bled. And you could probably drive this car all the time. Uh, I will say this, and I don't know why. I have not investigated it, and I don't know why. The tank, the gas tank, is still under the car. 
and it still has the filler neck and all on it but somebody has taken a boat tank and set over in the trunk of it and run the fuel line to that we discovered this um we discovered this the uh the hard way uh, uh we put gas in the tank and it didn't it just ran out i mean the, the car ran out of gas it quit running couldn't figure out why it wasn't pulling tank it wasn't pulling fuel we put a new fuel pump on it uh go through all that and it's just not pulling fuel at this point in time it never opened the trunk on the car uh and then noticed the the boat tank so i can tell you the fuel did not leak out of the tank so there's not a hole in the tank the only thing i can think is that uh, the previous owner the car had probably set a while and instead of trying to suck old gas up into the the car they just put a new tank in or an aftermarket tank or a boat tank or whatever you want to call it they just stuck one in the back of it and uh, let it go but anyway my my buddy drove his car for a while like that and then the car got parked so yes i know the car runs and drives yes i know the car needs some work it has the rust around the gas door it has the rust around the door and in the trunk on this side right at the very back actually no it's on this side right at the very back right here the trunk pan is rusted out right against where the the rear bumper would be right against that valence area there that's rusted out so yeah it's got rust uh no you can't drive it home but it's a pretty good car um there's not i don't have any more plans for this car i'm not going to do anything with this car this car is uh this car is up for sale um has a clean title and it is going to go to a new home uh, however that happens it's going to go to a new home um this is just going to be the first uh walk around we do a one this one there's really not much for me to tell you about future plans and all because there is none for this car this car is simply for sale as he is where he is with no warranties no guarantees this car is for sale um clear title come loaded up clear south carolina title come loaded up and uh We sell it for thirty-five hundred dollars. Uh, just to just to move it down the road, thirty-five hundred dollars. You can own a really cool uh, piece of muscle car history. Something not a lot of people have, and that's a uh, that's a a Mercury and uh, a Mercury Montego with that. So you're not going to at least in this area. Now, depending on where you are in the country, maybe the thing's different. But in this area, you're not going to cruise around and see uh, another Mercury Montego uh, pass you by. So yeah so y'all let me know what you think about these walk around videos if this is a good idea i'm gonna do it every sunday morning uh and next week we will we will highlight a a different vehicle uh some of them i'll go more in depth on some of them i know more about the history on some of them uh some of them will be like this it'll just be a quick walk around and take a look at it so uh yeah if you're interested in the mercury montego drop a comment down here and let me know um and uh or cruise over to our facebook page 78 speed shop and shoot me a message there but anyway just get in contact with me and we can work out all the details but this car is definitely on the block is one that's going to leave here i've got uh i've got one two three i've got about three that are going to leave here and uh We'll highlight them throughout throughout these videos. So, um, till next time, God bless y'all. I'm tired of this old house. Gotta get out. Gonna get a little bit loud. Cold drinks and friends all around. Headed to the lake. Cut.